what's going on youtube so we are back with another banger video for you guys man and today man as you see we have the gt350 in the back man oh uh, man i'm finna go ahead and give this bad girl a wash i haven't been able to wash this car with like in some days as you see i started washing it a little bit but i stopped to give you guys this video but in today's video what we're going to be talking about is we're going to be talking about the struggles of owning a gt350 man probably wondering bro what struggles will you have on owning a GT350, man. And today I'm here to tell you that, man. But first of all, man, the car is extremely dirty. This blue doesn't, I don't know if it really shows up on camera because this camera is crazy, but man, you pick up so many different rocks. You pick up so many different things like inside of this side scooter. The number one struggle for me is, is that how low this car sits stock. Now my car is stock still, ride height. Um, I'm actually finna get ready to order some springs to lower the car up tonight. So man, stay tuned for that video. Hopefully we get that video to you guys within the next like few days or so. But um, man, but let me show you my splitter, man. I was driving and um, if you don't already know, man, I got the, um, I got the um, GT350R front splitter um, from Ford and um, I got it hydro dipped by hydro dips. I'm gonna leave all the links down in the description down below for you guys. But as you see, man, the, the splitter, from how low it is, it's starting to crack. I'm hitting different things like all the time. And man, I hit a huge ass bump. And um, one time, and look at this. I don't know if you can really see it, but man, this shit fucked up my whole entire splitter, man. It looks really ugly. It looks really ugly. I personally want to now, I want to change it out, but I'm gonna contact Hydro Dips and see what they can do for me, see if they can fix that, or just see how we can get that rectified because, man, I'm tired. But low life is the life that we live, and I gotta actually um, go ahead and lower the car because the car is already crazy. Like, the stance of this car is already like crazy, but like, man, like, I think that it'll be crazier when you lower the car. Like, look at this gap. Look at this gap. This gap is crazy. I'm gonna probably get the Eibach um, lowering springs and get this car lowered about an inch and a half up front. And then I think a, I think an inch and a half in the rear and a um, inch in the front. I don't know, I'm gonna have to look up them specs. But let me go ahead and wash this car, get this car cleaned up. Cause I'm actually gonna go ahead and take some pictures today for my Instagram. So if you're not already, man, make sure you first, first things foremost, tap that sub button stay tuned turn the bell notifications on share this video and uh follow me on instagram man follow me on instagram to get all the pictures content before youtube um d dot network was we got to get the camaro fix we got to get the camaro fix i almost got all the funds for for the whole build so i'm just trying to still work out some things and um trying to get the rest of everything situated with that car because i gotta have like man i really really miss my camaro it hasn't even been that long it's probably been like two three weeks personally um and man it feels like months and months have like any of you guys that build cars that went through process of building a car man and you've been out your car for a week man it feels like months or a lifetime man but man um let's go ahead and get this washed up and i'll get back to you guys in a few minutes what i use for my my rims i use a 717 wheel and soot cleaner 
man, this thing actually works like real, like a 717, like Street Speed 717, man, they did their thing on making this right here. Let me show you guys. Oh, oh that's off. Let me turn this on real quick. That's embarrassing. Uh, let's see. Let's get that nice. So what I like to do is I like to just, I like to just get it all nice and like, like so. And Street Speed 717 says, man, let this thing sit, sit on here for like 30 seconds, I believe. Because it, it's very, very concentrated. Let it sit on there for 30 seconds. So we're going to let that sit on there for a little bit. And we're going to go to the next wheel and just spray this side down real quick. Because these rims are filthy. I actually, uh, without doing it on YouTube, I actually changed my brake pads to um, the new um, Power Stop um, performance pads. Um, they said it's supposed to help with brake dust and um, help with brake dust in performance of actually doing your brakes, like braking and whatnot. So main thing for me is brake dust that I'm looking for. I don't really care about the performance of, of like how well it brakes compared to the stock, um, the, the stock pads. But I just basically care about like it, it the brake dust because rims get dirty very fast. Like if you if like rims are the number one thing that make your car stand out. And if your rims are dirty, man, your car is dirty. man i got a fresh little cut had to go to run some errands but we did get the car washed up let me show you guys what the car looks like now and uh yeah this guy cleaned up super nicely um man every time i wash this car it'd be looking like a brand new car sometimes like the blue really like i don't know if y'all can like this blue goes crazy bro like how like like i don't know if it pops up in person for real and this is not even the sun sun went down a little bit everything like that and uh man this thing goes crazy but let's talk about another one of the struggles of owning a gt350 and it is the oil consumption um i just did an oil change on this car excuse the oil that got on here but uh as you guys see man it was 179 dollars to get the um this car takes 10 quarts of 5w50 and then um that was including the filter so i did the job myself um and uh whatnot but yeah so that's another struggle. I'm gonna pop this catch can open. Yeah, wow, just like that. I probably did an oil change within the last three, four days, and this is what we have. So it's not too bad. I did empty out the oil that was from the oil catch can. It wasn't it wasn't full, it's probably like 75% of the way full, but uh this is this is definitely doing its job. So I'm gonna screw that back up there. Wow, yeah. And then basically that's about it for the struggles of owning a GT350. I mean, as you guys know, man, there ain't really too many things. I'm nitpicking really of like some of the things that I feel like is a struggle. So I said the clearance, basically, the clearance of how low the car already is. And um, basically the oil consumption, you gotta change your oil in this car. You gotta watch your oil. That's like a, that's like the number one thing I can tell you guys from owning this car. You need to watch watch your oil consumption check your catch can make sure you do oil change regularly because it's like this car really sucks up a whole lot of oil man this car sucks up you can do your research this car sucks up a whole lot of oil so i'm gonna go ahead and close this and um i might give you guys a little bit of pov driving i might talk to you guys about a few other things that are upcoming um with this build um and i can probably give you guys a little bit more update i want you i want you guys' feedback with my camaro um and actually basically let me know what you guys think i should do should i return it back stock sell it start a new build or should i build the motor 416 um rebuild my whipple and the goal that we had for that build um i told them i wanted to make like 1200 horsepower to the wheels so that's what they said that that kit that could do and um i'm gonna be very surprised to see that i really want to build it don't necessarily know just yet but that's what we're looking at you see, I got my dog Snoop here with me. 
Watch out, buddy. Watch out, buddy. Wow. But yeah, so that's that's basically what we're at um, with this build. Um, bro, come on this way. This man trapping himself. Come on, come on. There you go. There you go. There you go. Smart dog. Smart dog. But yeah, that's basically where we're at with the Camaro build. Um, I'm going to keep you guys updated uh, when we're going to get started on that, man. And uh, just stay tuned for the rest of the content that we have on this channel. All right, man. So you see, man, we are back at the gas station, man. This is another goddamn struggle, man, of getting gas, man. Getting gas, man. Let's see. Gas is currently 380 and uh, let's check and see how much it's gonna take to fill up. I had about like, mm, I think I had like 40 miles left. So 40 miles left, we're gonna see exactly how much it costs to fill up a GT350 from 40 miles at these gas prices. Let's see, but uh, this Wingo is stupid though. Carbon fiber, that's what they be saying. Carbon's flyer. Cars for hire. Ugly. Oh. And you see the carbon fire splitter up here. A lot of shit fake, but we don't care. It's for appearances. But uh clean little 50 ball. Fill up. Not too not too too bad. Normally this car like at, at gas stations I'd be going to for 93, that'd be like 340. It'd take like $45 to fill up in most cases. So that's not too 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 bad. going crazy lately boy i fuck with the baby so heavy but it's like i, don't, I know a lot of y'all don't really fuck with the baby for real but it's all good though y'all don't have to like what i like and i don't gotta like what y'all like so but you see we already leaving chick-fil-a man i got me that number one add bacon with some strawberry jelly and that orange juice get my vitamin c or is it vitamin d i don't know Inside of like, like I'm a huge animal person, but like, um, but yeah, man, that's gonna be all for this video, man. Thank you guys for watching, joining me for this episode, um, man. If you and if you're not already, make sure you have a good day. That's all I want to say. Make sure you have a good day. Spread positive energy. Um, we don't, we don't want no negative energy all 2022, man, and upcoming years, man. We don't want no negative energy, man. So if you got negative energy. Or if you're feeling down or if you're just feeling like you ain't yourself, man. Remember, bro, positive vibes only. Positive vibes only. Good times only. Um, and spread the love. That's all I got to say, man. So, man, y'all have a good rest of y'all day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, peace.